Ghost. Oh. Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Say good afternoon, Holy Ghost. Good afternoon, Holy Ghost. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Take over me. Take over me. Lead me. Lead me. Guide me. Guide me. Protect me. Protect me. Bring my blessings today. Bring my blessings today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name, Jesus said that there I am in their midst and also this afternoon know that yes, Jesus Christ is here, the Holy Ghost is here, God Almighty is here, angels are here. We are in the presence of God and we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together this afternoon. Let us go through the word of God together this afternoon from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. The Bible reads as follows. Eli answered, Go in peace. And may God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She said, May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went away and ate something and their face was no longer downcast. Early next morning they arose and worshipped before the Lord and went back to their home in Ramah. Elkanah moved, made love to, her, to his wife Hannah and the Lord remembered her. So in the course of time Hannah became pregnant and gave a son named him she named him Samuel saying because I asked the Lord for him when her husband Elikana went up with all his family to offer annual sacrifice to the Lord to fulfill his vow Hannah did not go she said to her husband after the boy is win I will take him and present him before the Lord he will live there always. Do what seems best to you, her husband Elikana told her. Stay here until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord make good his word. So the woman stayed home and nursed her son until he had weaned him. She had weaned him. We're going to start very well with the word of God from the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse number 17. The Bible says that Eli answered, Go in peace and may God of Israel grant you what you ask. Of him. We're just gonna go a bit back so that we can understand what was happening. The Bible says that this was the time that um, Hannah, Hannah was crying for a child. She wanted to have a child. And after some years when she have tried and done, have done everything she could possible and nobody and she could not get a child the bible said that it was a time that uh eli kana have said now Elkana, they were going to the house of god to shiloh as they were going to the house of god to shiloh the bible said that hannah went to the house of God and begin to cry to the Lord. As he began to cry to the Lord, the Bible says that 
as she was praying, this time the Bible says that even the voice was not coming out. The tears was just running. And the Bible said that the man of God saw him, saw him, crying in the house of God. As he saw her crying in the house of the Lord, the Bible said that he thought he was, she was drunk. And she say, he said to her, why are you coming to the house of God drunk? And the Bible said that, she said that, no, I'm not drunk. It's not because she's drunk, but she's opening her heart unto the Lord. They she have not drink, he have not been drinking wine or beer. I'm pouring out my soul to the Lord. And the Bible says that this is when Eli now, the high priest of the house, was now giving an answer to her, saying that Eli, the Bible says that Eli answered, Go in peace. And may the Lord God of Israel grant you what you ask him. I want us to, to see this very well. The Bible said that Hannah was praying, praying unto God, crying unto God, crying. If, you know, if Hannah could continue to cry, you, she would have continued to cry. But the Bible said that as she was crying unto the Lord, God made Eli to notice her so that he can bring the answer to Hannah. But in order to bring an answer to Hannah, Eli touches the servant, Eli. God touches his servant, Eli. And Eli spoke the word of God. You know, it's very, very much interesting how God answers prayer. How God answers his prayer, how God answers Hannah's prayer, he touches the servant of God and make the servant of God to speak a word. God does not just answer prayer. This time for God to answer prayer, he makes the servant to see, to notice Hannah and speak a word. That means there is a way that God works. You know, sometimes some people, they go like, no, I want God to answer my prayer. There's nothing wrong with that. I want God to answer my prayer. But they don't realize that God uses people. God uses his servants. The Bible says that God does nothing ex without um, informing his servants, the prophets. That means God uses people. Maybe Hannah could have cried and continued to cry and go out of the house of God after crying and just cry like that and nothing change. But for God to change Hannah's story, to bring the answer to Hannah, God make a lead the priest to notice Hannah and Eli speaks a word. One of the things that as the children of the living God, we ought to acknowledge that God uses people. God uses his servants. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. God uses people. God uses his servants. Then sometimes... We are looking for an answer from God. We are looking for a blessing from God. But sometimes somebody says, I don't want to hear anything about this so-called the servants of God. That could be somebody's delay of somebody's prayer, somebody's answer. Some people's answers are coming. Some people's answers are coming. God is answering people's prayers. But when God is answers people's prayer, sometimes when they see the servant of God, they took them for granted and they wonder why is it God is not answering their prayer. And God has answered their prayer. It's just that when he answered their prayer, he answered the prayer through the servants. 
Amen. And some people are not aware that God has answered their prayer through the what? Through the servants. The Bible says that Jesus said to his disciples, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believe and will be baptized will be saved. And say that whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. And one of the signs, they will lay hands upon the sick and the sick shall recover. And the Bible says that when it goes down, and the Lord went with them. As they go and they confirm his word with signs and wonders. But he's going with the servants. There could be some people who were looking for an answer from God. It was like, these are the disciples of Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't check. Then they miss their miracle. Because sometimes when God wants to answer prayer, we want to bless you. He will send you his servant. He will send you his servant. He will send you his children. I want us to understand that it's very, very much important for us to understand that God uses the servants. Amen. God sometimes he does not. Because imagine, I want you to understand this. When you talk about the high priest like Eli, he lived in the house of God. Serving God every day of his life. Every day. That's what Eli do. He stay in the presence of God. He serves God daily. He do the work of God. This is Eli. He lived there. It's his life. Then if God could have bypassed Eli, it was going to be unfair because God have put Eli to be in the house of the Lord. And indeed, Eli is in the house of the Lord. He's not doing any other thing. He's not anywhere. Eli is in the house of God, doing the house, the work of God. Amen. Then, you know, these are the things that I saw even when I went to working place. If there are some subordinates under you, if I have to do anything in my section, I will make sure that I involve those who are under me because they are in that position for that, for that purpose. Otherwise, that person will going to be paid for doing nothing. Also, God, if God could have just touched Hannah without the word of Eli, he would have bypassed the men that he have put there. That means sometimes servants of God are put where they are for a purpose. Amen. For your blessing. Amen. Once you understand that principle, you will get blessed easily. Amen. Anyway, I'm just talking. Let us go to the book of Second Chronicles, chapter twenty, verse number twenty. The Bible says that Second Chronicles, chapter twenty, verse number twenty. Early in the morning, they left the desert of Tekoa. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, "Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord." You are God and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. Have faith, first of all, the Bible says that, in the Lord, you will be upheld. But have faith in his, pro in his prophets, in his servants, and you will be successful. Amen. This is Jehoshaphat speaking to the nation of Israel, speaking to the nation of Judah, giving the recipe of the miracle, that is about to be get, he is about to get a, another supernatural result. Amen. Where there was a battle that he was supposed to fight, and God ended up fighting for him by believing in the word of the prophet of God. Amen. By believing on the word of the man of God. Because the prophet this time have only spoken a word that Jehoshaphat believed and is about to get a miracle. Hannah was the same. How Hannah is getting a miracle? She's getting a miracle. She's gone. She has been crying, this woman. This woman has been praying her heart out. And the only miracle, I don't know what touched the heart of God. I don't know whether it's a tears. I don't know, it's a prayer. I don't really know. 
But what I understand, what touched the man of God? It was the tears, and she, he thought, this one is drunk. Why are you coming to play in the house of God? And the Bible said that. I'm not saying, no, no, man of God, I'm not drunk. I'm not here playing. I'm crying unto God. I didn't drink today. I didn't drink. I'm just crying unto God. And the Bible says the man of God only spoke a word. The man of God only spoke a word. Only a word. That's what changed Hannah's prayers. Uh, changed Hannah's situation. That's what changed Hannah's situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to get this. Eli answered, go in peace and may God of Israel grant you what you ask of him. That's what Eli said. She said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went away and ate something, and her face was no longer downcast. I want to see. I want you to get this. It seems as if Hannah was even fasting; she was not eating. But the Bible says, after when the men of God have spoken, to show that she believed what the men of God have said, she stopped her fasting. She go and eat. She said that, oh, I've got the, uh, God has answered my prayer. The servant of God have spoken. She not she cut her fast as to react on what does the what did the man of God have said? She's not just stopping, she's not just stopping the fasting, she's stopping the fasting because she believes her prayers are answered. Amen. She be, and she doesn't just believe her that her prayer is answered, she believes because the man of God have said. She believe. It was a sign of a belief. Hey, eating. And hey, the change, the, the change that came upon her, her face. It was an action of faith that indeed, as the men of God have said, so it is. And that's the kind of an attitude you must have as a child of God. That when the men of God have said, you must believe. The Bible said that. I, I want you to get it. Hey, have faith in his prophets and you will be successful when they speak. Have faith on the servants of God. When they speak, believe. Amen. You know, sometimes when we want God to change certain situation, we only speak a word. Sometimes we only write a message. We only write a message. And those who believe, they get their they are changes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. There are many people whom, when they were having situations that they want God to change, they wrote a prayer request. And the only thing that we did was to send a, a message. But because that person believe what we told them, sooner or later, a few minutes later, they come back with a testimony. Things change. The prayer was just a, a, a written text. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Okay, I want us to get something there. In the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse number 40, the Bible says that anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. Anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who has sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive well, a prophet's reward. Whoever welcomes a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. I want you to understand. I want you to understand that the Bible says that Jesus said that anyone who welcomes you, that person, when Jesus said you, talking about whoever will go 
in authority of Jesus Christ, representing Jesus. Jesus said that anyone who's going to be welcoming the servant of Jesus Christ will become welcoming Jesus. And anyone who will welcome Jesus, it's like they're welcoming God. That's it. Amen. Then some people, they are, they are looking for God to speak in their situation. Sometimes some people, they want to see God in their life. What does God do? God said that there are many who are serving me. There are many who are obeying, who are serving me, who I've sent out. Then instead of God appearing, who will appear? Servant of God will appear. And as the servant of God appear, not that it is as if God has visited you. It, when the servant of God speaks, it is as if God is speaking. I once told us, it's the same way. Sometimes when, the, when a government official is speaking, it is as if the government is speaking. Because it's an official. Amen. When the servant, a, a certain someone working in the government as they speak, you will see. It is as if the president is speaking. Because whatever they are saying is in accordance to the framework and the standard that have been set. Amen. Who have set up those standards? Who have passed those standards? It will be those who are in the parliament, those who are representing the country, those who are representing the president. Then it's like that. A servant of God, when they speak, it is as if God has spoken. Amen. Then Eli only spoke a word. Hannah believed. But there is something so profound that I want us to touch when you are talking about this. In the verse 19 of 1 Samuel chapter 1, the Bible says, Early the next morning they arose and worshipped the, before the Lord and went back in their home at Ramah. Elkanah made love to her wife, his wife. And the Lord remembered her. You know, I, I, I want you to get it. Even though the man of God spoke, the Bible doesn't say she became pregnant that day. The man of God spoke. Hannah believed. Hannah acted as sure that yes, she believed as the man of God has spoke, her situation was changed. But the Bible says that they still had to make love in order for Hannah to be pregnant. It's the same thing. You know, so there are some people, we have prayed for them. We have prayed for them. As we have prayed for them, maybe this person was looking for a job. After prayer, they have never sent their CV. After prayer, they have never marketed. Some people, they want to be rich. But they, you know, like, if you don't move, you don't act, it, there's still an action that still needs to be put in place. Faith without action is dead. And once you say that you have got faith, yes, you believe. After that, you must put an action towards what the faith after prayer you still need to act in faith the bible says whatever you touch is blessed if there is a land begin to plow something begin to put a seed into the ground so that you can see the blessing of god at work begin to sell something begin to do something so that you can put the anointing in action so that you can get the results you are too blessed even the capacity that you are in, the level that you are in, that, is not, that, that does not portray your, your, the level of your blessing. That does not portray God whom you, is with you. The blessing in your life and the anointing in your life, the prayer that have, you have made and the prayer that you have been offered in your place, in your life, it is too much. But in order to see how blessed you are, it is when you begin to put uh, anointing into action. It's when you begin to do something. Some people are not even aware how blessed they are, how rich they are, how successful they are, because they have never tried to do anything. There are some Christians. These people are even Christians. They are going to church every day, praying every day. 
but they wonder why are they not so rich if this God can bless no after prayer after doing this you have to do act on faith act on faith act on faith not sitting on faith acting on faith that what bring results you want to see the results i've told you some some examples before there was a time i went to the hospital to pray for the sick i prayed for the sick i remember this other day it was on saturday visiting hours in the hospital certain lady bedridden she have pains in their body it was after prayer i told her stand up you are healed the lady remained sleepy somebody was visiting her told her told her pastor say stand up and walk i said you will be surprised you'll be healed until the person who was visiting her told her to stand up and walk and she tried she realized all the pains are gone indeed she was healed that's when she began to say pastor don't no, i've got this and that problems also can okay? But she could not see the power of God at work as long as she was sleeping in her bed. I'm talking to somebody today. Like uh, very soon like next week the special service of Saturday is will be the theme will be raising millionaires. But millionaire won't rise if somebody after prayer is sleeping. If somebody after prayer is not they are not act, doing anything after prayer you act by faith there was an action for Hannah to be pregnant it was not just a word that was spoken the word that was spoken yes something has happened but you ought to do something for the word of god to be fulfilled in your life is the same thing with a student there are some students calling for prayers they want to pass very good i've prayed for many people and they've passed but i usually tell the student when you are still preparing for exam that's when you have to call me that's when prayer will be so effective then when you are still preparing then you will pray god will guide you to study what is coming in the exam and help you to understand but you still have to study You don't say that I've received prayer. I won't study. No, after prayer, you study by faith, believing the word and the prayer that was given. Then you will study what is coming in exam. Many people, after when they've done like that, some came back even with distinctions in subject that they don't understand before, subject that they failed before. But after after when they were acting on faith they came back with the distinction for the sometimes the first time in their lives But what is the secret the secret is that after prayer don't sit around after prayer act on faith you will see the power of God at work Anyway because this is a midday service can you say my day is blessed My day is blessed Can you say my family is blessed My family is blessed Can you say my career is blessed My career is blessed Our countries are blessed Our countries are blessed Everything is turning around for my good Everything is turning around for my good I will not die before my time I will not die before my time I will never be sick in my life I will never be in my life i will never be broken my life i will never be broken my life prosperity is mine prosperity is mine favor is mine favor is mine can you say devil devil take off your hands take off your hands from my everything from my everything 
say I lose angels now. I lose angels now. Angels, angels bring my harvest. Bring my harvest. My miracles. My miracles. My testimonies. My testimonies. My jobs. My jobs. My money. My money. Angels, angels usher me. Usher me. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. In everything that I do. In everything that I do. Represent me. Represent me. Present me. Present me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. With your power. With your power. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. From today from today I am, I am born again I am born again I am saved I am saved in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit the fellowship of the Holy Spirit the love of God. The love of God. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I want to say to us, may the Lord bless you. Have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus' name. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen.